Hello, I am here with Johannes Roberts, uh, director of the upcoming Resident Evil movie for Sony Pictures. Now, Johannes, what is the title of that movie again? Uh, it is um, Welcome to Raccoon City. And tell us the significance of that title. Um, the movie is very much an origin story of Resident Evil and it, uh, Raccoon City, it's an ensemble piece and Raccoon City plays a very big part and is a character in the movie. Um, and it's about this group of people all coming from different angles, some coming into town, some already being, having grown up in this, in this uh, town, meeting over this one fateful night. And you said that, uh, you know, we've, we're seeing Jill, Chris, Claire and Leon, mm -hmm. the, the, the true heroes of the Resident Evil series. Um, is this an ensemble piece or is there going to be one sort of central protagonist? No, it's very, very much uh, an ensemble piece. That's very exciting. Uh, in one of your original statements about the movie, you mentioned wanting to tap into the moments that really connected with you when you first played uh, Resident Evil and Resident Evil 2, what were yeah. some of those moments and uh, were there any that you were particularly excited to put to film or conversely any that you really wanted to avoid? Yeah, um, I mean the big thing for me on this movie is tone. Uh, the thing that I loved with the, with the games was they were just scary as hell. And that, that is very much what I wanted to, um, that atmosphere, like it's raining constantly, it's dark, it's creepy, it's Raccoon City is this, this uh, kind of rotten character in the movie. And that, that sort of atmosphere of, of the games I wanted to put in, and then mixed with the sort of more fun side of like, especially with the first game of what is round the corner, that kind of style of, of storytelling. We had a lot of fun with like that, you know, down to the kind of fixed angle uh, sort of playing that the first game had is that constant like, you know, when we're in the Spencer Mansion, what is, what's around that corner? I've used some of those techniques and a lot of those kind of iconic sounds in that down to the kind of zombie sounds and stuff. We've had some fun with that. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! Um, yeah. considering <laughs> Resident Evil uh, and Resident Evil 2 were both quite contained sort of haunted house games with one set in the mansion and obviously one set in the police station. How are you weaving them into a single cohesive story while maintaining that claustrophobic vibe that, that comes from such a, a haunted house setting? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a couple of things. Really, like when I approached it, you know, when, when, when we talked about how we were going to go about telling this story, um, the, the thing that came to mind to me was I'm a huge John Carpenter fan and I I really took that as my the way he tells it, the, these kind of claustrophobic siege movies and I took movies like Assault and Precinct 13 and and The Fog and uh, and uh, you know this th th these group disparate groups of characters coming together uh, and, and under siege and I took that as my filmic uh, inspiration and and yeah we we have two very separate locations but we split we split people off in into their worlds and each location is one is more of a siege like an assault precinct 13 siege movie style you know with the police station and then you have the mansion which is like creepy as f it's a question that every you know horror aficionado has to ask um, how are you balancing practical and and CG effects for a movie like this, which features so many different kinds of creatures. Yeah, um, I come very much from a practical um, background, but also, you know, recently have been, you know, working very much with with a lot of 
uh, the effects with, with some of the shark um, movies that I've done recently. And we, we took a, a viewpoint of basing everything to start with in the practical. There, there's a lot of very intricate stuff going on in the movie, not just the creatures, but the locations are such big characters in the movie, the mansion, the police station. And I wanted to really recreate all these this world in, in a in, to feel like I was there. Um, uh, that, that that you could enter this this gaming world that I'd lived for, for the last twenty years. So uh, we we started with the idea of practical, and and then built on it and used CG to to push the boundaries rather than just start from like okay well we'll just we'll shoot everything against the green screen you know off we go so there's a there's an awful lot of practical you've worked in horror for several films across your career do you approach a horror film in an existing franchise um very like starkly dif uh, differently than something that's original um are there like major considerations and pillars that are vastly more important to take into account than if you're working from you know, something completely From, original. Yeah, I mean, this this was a very interesting one in that we were, you know, this movie has, obviously there's a, the Resident Evil franchise and this movie doesn't have anything to do with that. It's a whole separate origin story that is very much based in the roots of the game uh, and in the world of horror. I didn't have to worry too much in that world, but then I was dealing with, and this was new for me, dealing with lore and history, you know, a whole fabric yes. within the computer game. You know, when I set out to do something based on those computer games, you then have to back that shit up. Obviously, this new movie follows in the footsteps of a long-running film series. What did you really uh, want to dig into with this origin story that you felt was new ground? Um, yeah, I mean, it was... It's actually a very luxurious um, position, this movie, that is very unusual. Like, it's not like I was presented something where we're we're remaking it. We're not, we are going in a totally different, and I love, I fell in love with Mili Jovovich in, in, in Resident Evil, you know, that first movie, you know, it's great fun. You know? I love that side of the Resident Evil world, but this had, it was it was a real pleasure to, to be given uh, the reins to a franchise, to, you know, to a new franchise, hopefully, that, that really is its own thing, you know, and has, I, I had never, seen the terror and the the atmosphere of the games of what i felt when i was playing those games or, or watching behind people when i was a student you know university uh watching behind people's shoulders playing the games i've never felt that on screen and i felt that this is something i wanted to tell um and uh and felt that i was you know a good person to do that tell that story so yeah that was really for me the the the, uh, the genesis of this story. Obviously, the first couple of games have a very distinct style and tone uh, for various mm. reasons. Uh, are yeah. there any stylistic elements or influences um, from the first games that you've lent heavily into? You did mention the fixed camera angles. Is there anything else you can elaborate on? Um, yeah, we did a couple of the fixed camera angle thing in, in, in the mansion and stuff and had some fun there. Um, I love the second game, the remake of the second game was probably the entry point in, into the movie for me. When that came out, that, when we were talking, we were talking about this movie, um, just before that movie, that game had come out and we were discussing it. You know, knew we wanted to to get into restarting the franchise and stuff. And Constantine and I would we would talk about stuff. And then that game came out, and it just blew me away. And it just completely. It was like from that moment on, I think we all knew where we were going with this movie because it was such a wonderful cinematic 
experience with, with the tone, the constant dark rain, the sort of aspect of, 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 the, um, of the game. And I just took that and went, yeah, I want to, that's the world I want to work in. And so we very much took the tone of the second, the remake of the second game and made that our template for, for this movie. It has been such a pleasure to chat to you today about everything Resident Evil, and I cannot wait to see your take on the Resident Evil universe. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, it's lovely chatting. <laughs>